vulnerability did uh it changed my life becoming more vulnerable uh -huh. you know what i mean like i i was always jaded i was always like not jaded but i definitely protected myself you know what uh, i mean okay. i don't know how you dealt with vulnerability but like are there yeah. any places where you still feel vulnerable these days like you're a grown man do you feel vulnerable walking the streets late at night no you feel vulnerable on the subway late at night no no i'm because my head is on a swivel uh-huh i don't have headphones yeah so i'm listening uh -huh. i'm looking I see people come up, I turn away uh, a, a weird way so I know if I can see if they want to do something, so if I can move fast enough. Uh, some weird shit I do now, I'll be on my phone and I see somebody walk by, I put my fingers on top of the phone so they can't steal it. Uh huh. It's weird. Like I, <laughs> I'll be like, you, I don't care who it is. When they be coming by on the side, I'll be going, ah. I do yeah. it right when they do it. It's like locking the door. Yeah. When, so <laughs> when somebody walk, yep, same shit. I, used to I don't be give a fuck. Hey, if someone bumped into me on the subway, I used to always tap my wallet just to make sure it was still there. Yeah. I always felt like that was a yeah, diversion man. tactic or anything. They got you. And it's still Everything's to Ocean's this Eleven. Day. Yeah. Yeah. I think I was doing that even before Ocean's Eleven. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You but was. that was like a vulnerability thing because that was something that I was always scared of. I was always scared of being robbed and left high and dry. Mm -hmm. I was always scared of being uh, forced to have to start over because I was slipping. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, I'd do it. By habit, I put, when I know I'm getting close to my stop, I take my keys out and put them between my fingers, just automatically. <laughs> See that? Jesus Christ. Automatically. Get a nice yeah. slashing in. Yeah. Go Wolverine on these huh? vagrants. Just in case. How long have you been doing that? Since high school. Since high school? Mm -hmm. hey, have you had to use it yet? <laughs> have you ever had to do the scratch thing? No. Yeah, that's like, I always thought that was fascinating, like pepper spray. Like, people will own pepper spray and nothing, they just have it in their bag until some kid finds it and sprays itself. What the word go? Better to have it and not need it than to need it not have it or some shit. Like I don't know. It's the same thing. Like, people buy guns and they just have the gun in the house and then, like, their kids just find it and then they go do something else crazy with they it. Go like, do some f with it. Yeah, like, that's the weird thing about, like, your vulnerability. It, it will make you act in a way to protect yourself that you're probably never going to actually protect yourself. Hmm. I don't know in any ways that we're vulnerable, like, cause, and I'm, I'm right now we've only talked about like physically vulnerable. You okay. know what I mean? It's like emotional vulnerable and stuff like that. But in any ways that you've ever braced yourself for being vulnerable, have you had to use it? Has it served you? You know what I mean? So can you think of some places where you're like bracing yourself in vulnerability? Like you said the phone thing. You've oh, never... shit. well, you know, I still live in Bushwick, mm -hmm. and on Knickerbocker, sometime when it get hot out, the goons be out. Okay, they be on that block. Yeah. But my black ass goes, I'm not walking in the street. I'm going to have to walk through these niggas. Okay. I got to brace myself to, I guess, be vulnerable because it's, what, six on one? Yeah. So, yeah, I'm like, shit, this could, if I step on a shoe or something like that, but don't look down, look look right ahead, let these motherfuckers know I'm tall like you. Uh -huh. And it's like, and I go, Ugh, and I tighten my fist up, and I walk through it. Because I know if something spin off, they going to get me. Yeah. There's too many of them for That's me to That's a win. very vulnerable moment yeah. because you're walking into a situation that you know if you lose control, there's no way you can regain it. Yep. There's and too many of them. They, all, yeah. they out. They got music playing. They got the grills in the streets in the parking space. This this nigga block. Yeah. And it's a lot of them. It's a lot. And they all just kind of, ain't no pussy around. It's just a bunch of niggas. And you go, oh, oh. but am I going to walk around? Fuck no. I'm yeah. like, I'm, I'm going to just have to be a man like them. All right. Let Let's me ask go. you this. Do you yeah. do that with ladies too? Like if it's like if it's like you're walking, it's summer. It's a stoop full of ladies, maybe a, a few chairs on the sidewalk, and you they 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 out there playing their little music, or maybe they'll say they got a couple of those little dollar okay. store umbrella chairs. Okay, so you know it's nothing but like a bunch of aunts. Yeah, man, drinking, uh, smoking yeah, I, weed. I'm vulnerable a different way. I'm, I push my dick to the middle. <laughs> yeah, I go like this. Ah, I try to look. I try to look in the reflection of my glasses and shit, uh -huh. in case one of them go a pop. Pete, but whatever. Yeah. If I got to turn around and present, yes. Okay, okay. Uh -huh.